All right, guys, let's dive into dividing and multiplying by mixed numbers. So, what's the process? We've got 8 times 10 plus 5 divided by 8. And then we have over here 9 times 7 plus 6 divided by 7. So that's 85 over 8. And when we divide, we actually have to flip, right? So 90, 9 times 7 is 63, plus 6 is 69 over 7. So it'll be times 7 over 69. And when you simplify that, you will end up with 595 over 552. These are not nice numbers. So that's going to be when we do, then we have to say 595 divided by 552. And we're going to get one. We're going to get 552. We're going to get 43 left over. So we have one and 43 over 552. So 1 and 43 over 552. So how do we write that? Oh my gosh, that is a complicated answer. So 1 space 43 divided by 552. 1 space 43 forward slash 552. Cross our fingers. Okay, there we go. How about this? 6 and 3 fourths divided by 9 and 3 fourths. Okay, so what's our for first step? Our first step is to write this as 27 fourths. And our next step, that's 6 times 4 plus 3. And our next step is to write this as 9 times 4, 36 plus 3 is 39 fourths. And we're dividing, so we end up doing. 27 over 4 times 4 over 39, which cancels these out. And we end up dividing both things by 3, and that's 9. Divided by 3, that's 13. So we should end up with 9 divided by 13. Great job. Great job, us. Okay, so how about this? 2 and 5 eighths. What's the difference between this one? It's the times, right? So we have 2 and 5 eighths times 4 and 2 thirds. And we have to do the same first steps. So we have 21 over 8. And over here we have 14 over 3. So that's going to give us 21 over 8 times 14 over 3. We don't have to flip. That'll be a 7. This will become a 7 and a 4. So we should get 49 over 4. Forty-nine over four. So let me just erase. Well, I'll just write this. Forty-nine over four. Now, how do we put this as a improper fraction? Or how do, that was an improper fraction. So how do we put it as a mixed number? So we got one here, four, nine here, two, nine. I, I'm just like moving this over because there's not space. Eight, one. So it'll be 12 and 1 fourth. 12 and 1 fourth. Okay, how about this? 4 and 3 fourths. So that's 19 fourths. 10 and 1 half. That's 21 halves. 
So it should be 19 fourths times 2 over 21. Okay, so how do we proceed from here? Well, we see if we can cancel anything out, right? So what can we cancel out? We can cancel out this 2. There's not really much else to do. So we end up with 19... Oh, no, this is a 20. Yeah, we end up with 19 over 42. That's simple enough. Okay, great. All right, how about this? 7 and an eighth divided by 5 and 2 thirds. Okay, so this will be... 56, 57 eighths, 5 and 2 thirds will be 17 thirds, so it'll be times 3 over 17. So now we have 1, 71 divided by 136. Okay, so we do 171 divided by 136. We get 1, 136, we get a 5, we get a 35. So it should be 1 and 35, 30, 136. Okay, how about this? We'll do 30 sevenths, and we'll do divided by 6 and 1 fourth, so that's 25 fourths, so times 4 over 25. Let's divide this by 5 and this by 5, so that'll be 6, and that will be 5. So we'll get 24 over 35. Not a bad one. Okay. I'm waiting for one that's super simple, but they're all pretty complicated. So 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4, so 4 thirds. 6 times 5 plus 1 is 31 sixths. So we actually do times 6 over 31. This one's not terrible. So 6 times 4 is 24. 3 times 31 is 93. Ah, uh, what did I do wrong? 31 sixths, 4 thirds. 31 sixths should be 6 over 31. Oh, maybe I just forgot to simplify. That's correct. I can divide the top by th 3 and get 8. I can divide the bottom by 3 and get 31. So we didn't do anything wrong, we just didn't simplify. So it should be 8 over 31. Okay, how about this? We've got 5 halves, 2 times 2 plus 1 is 5, uh, times 48 fifths. So we'll end up with times 48 fifths. Oh, here's the, here's the one we were waiting for. Cancel, 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 cancel. 24. Finally, a whole number, right? Okay, how about this thing? Well, we've got 7. 3 times 2 plus 1 is 7. 7 halves. This is... 9 halves. Since we're multiplying, we just do that. And we get 63 fourths. So how do we find 63 fourths? Well, we do 63, so it's 63 fourths, remember that. 63 divided by 4, 1 here, 4, 23, 7, nope, not 7. Uh, 5, 
and that'll give us 20, and we're left with 3. So it should be 15 and 3 fourths. Okay, we're, we're almost at the end. We, we think it's one of the bottom ones, right? Because 10 and 9 is 90. It's got to be bigger than 90. So let's figure out which of the two bottom ones it is. So this one is 10 times 5 is 50. 54 over 5. And times 9, time, 9 times 8 is 72 plus 1 is 73 over 8. Let's simplify when we can, right? Uh, 54, so we can break this down into 27 and 4, okay, and what do we have left? So we have, we don't, we, we can't really simplify beyond that, so then we have to do 27 times 73, which I can just, let's see, that should be 1971. And then this will be over 20. And that you can tell is less than 100, right? Because 100 would be 2,000 over 20. So this is less than 100, and the only logical choice is 98 and 11 twentieths, right? So let's just spare ourselves some heartache and go 98 and 11 twentieths. All right, guys, thank you so much. It's a little bit tricky, but just keep practicing and you'll get it. Have a great one.